Hi, I'm Julia. And I'm Alina. We're American Australian sisters who have made the big move to London. Follow our journey as we travel in the UK and Europe. Hey! <laughs> Hi, I'm Julia. And I'm Alina. And this is Julina Travels. Welcome. So today, we're going to tell you how we got here. And question. why we're here. <clears throat> are you looking at the camera or are you looking at yourself? I just started looking at the camera. Okay, because I was like, are they going to know? <laughs> August 2021. We were both working at home and saving up money. And we made a plan to move to the UK. We applied for visas, Tier 5 Youth Mobility Visa, which is a two-year working holiday visa. Because we have Australian passports as well as American. Yes. So with our Australian passport... We were allowed to apply for the Tier 5 Youth Mobility Visa. Yep. So we did that. We made a plan. But we also wanted to travel first. So we made very extensive plans to go to Italy and Greece for just under two months. And so you can see all our videos below, which document all those <laughs> wonderful travels. Um, but yeah, and so once we got our visas approved, we knew our dreams were soon to become a reality. And... Yep. We started heavily planning our trip to Italy and Greece first, and also our big move to London from the U.S. Yep. So with traveling, we carried two giant backpacks and two smaller backpacks, and um, we came to London after we finished up in Greece. And after when we got here, we were in two Airbnbs in London. The first Airbnb was a really nice um, guest house in Leighton, which is east of London. Yeah, right? it's like northeast. Northeast. It was yeah. in zone three. Mm -hmm. It was really great. So we are leaving our first London Airbnb today. We're right at the back of this lady's house. And this is our little house that we have, that we've had for the past month that we will miss so much. Let's go in. We are all packed. This is where we were staying the past 30 days. So sad. We are sad to be leaving. This is our little London apartment when we first moved here, packing everything up. You sad? <laughs> we don't want to leave. So we have a little bathroom here that we had. We had a washing machine, we had heating, it was a perfect place to stay. Yeah. And then... Our next place is this box. There were two two bedrooms as well, which was great. <laughs> Full-size fridge, this was Elena's room. We got the big one. Yeah, it was super great. It was a great place to stay. We will miss it very much, won't we? Yup. <laughs> or a couple weeks after we got to London, our dad actually flew to London to drop off two big suitcases with all of our winter. That gear. we had packed previously, yes. so that we'd Thanks, be dad. ready to go for winter. Yes. But we also underestimated how hard it would be finding a flat in London yes. when we got here. Yes. That's why we were in an Airbnb for two months instead of our original one month plan. Yeah. Um, so when we got here, we thought we could spend, what was it, 500, 500 pounds? pounds each <laughs> on like a decent flat, oh. which is not attainable yeah. in central London, unless you go to like zone four, probably. Hard pill to swallow. So we booked another Airbnb for another month. Um, and this one was not as nice as our first one. No, it was still nice, but it wasn't our own place. Yeah. We and Julie had to share a room. Yes. For a whole month. That was rough. It was. With all our bags, Alina and it was snores. very small. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> and we had to share one bathroom with five people. Yep. It was a nice Polish lady, a nice Ukrainian man, and a nice Japanese lady. And the whole shared. experience was very They were all very we wonderful really people. really loved living with them, but it was very hard to share a room with barely any space to even walk around in yeah with both of us especially with all of our luggage and suitcases and stuff yeah. so this is our tiny little room that me and Elena shared for 30 days you know I would be lying if I didn't say it wasn't rough because it sure was just out of breath because we're moving everything yep it is very tiny 
but we did it. We are finally moving out of our tiny little Airbnb. This is all of our stuff. I get an Uber. We were looking on spare room. That's how we found our current flat. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. then until December 4th. So we, that's why we had to find a second Airbnb. Yes. But yeah. And we share it with one guy who's technically the landlord. He's like the landlord well. and our roommate. We think his dad owns the place. But we're not sure. But it's been a good gig. We just don't have a living room and we want our own space. So but we both share our own bathroom, which is really nice. Yeah. And we're about 20, 25 minutes away from central London. In these past six months, Julia's been working a freelance job. Um, I've been working on YouTube channel and kind of some side projects. And your stuff. own freelance stuff. Oh, oh my friend, my friend Gabby came and stayed for a month, which is really fun. We are on the train in the countryside. It's currently Christmas Day, and Julie is making mac and some cheese. mac and cheese. Look at that. We got some potatoes cooking. Got to make mashed potatoes. Got to roast some vegetables. And Gabby's making some whipped coffee. Not whipped coffee. It's just coffee. Just coffee. <laughs> Beautiful. Today we're moving out. Yep. So sad. But the hot man came. The hot man the came. Hot man showed up. Our next door neighbor. <laughs> Our Jude Law. Yep. Our Jude. We visited Edinburgh, Dorset, Cambridge, Oxford since we've been here, and we are exciting. We have exciting plans to travel again soon. Yeah. So make sure to like and subscribe. Yes. But yeah, about January 2022, started applying for jobs. Portfolio was finally done, which is good. That takes forever to update. Because we are both graphic designers. Yes. And yeah, applied for jobs. I had to go through the whole interview process with multiple places. And yeah, we both ended up getting jobs within two weeks of each other, which is funny, in April. Yeah, so April was a good month. Yes. And, and it was my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> And, and our parents came to visit in yeah. April, which was really nice. It's so like a lot of things have happened. We just are probably missing them because there's a lot to get through. Yeah. I also worked at anthropology for a while. Um, get that discount. Yep. <laughs> well, since we found both found jobs, um, we and our lease at this current place is ending June 4th. We just found out that we got our own two bedroom flat, which is still in the same vicinity as where we are now. And we're very excited and it's very difficult to get a flat here in London. We can do a whole another video about that. But we found out we got the flat maybe a week after our parents left, so still in April. And um, we move in this Saturday. So we are very excited to move into our yes. own two bedroom flat in London and it has a living room. And so yes. we are very excited. Luxury. Yeah, the luxury. Yeah, such a luxury. <laughs> but yeah, we're excited to move, get settled, and then we're going to start planning more travel trips. We've kind of put our travels on hold as we've been trying to like get, get it together. Get, get some stability in our lives before we kind of spend some more money. So yeah, but we're excited and life is good. Yeah. Life is good. It is going well. Peace out. <laughs>